Well, good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're here to join me today. It's been a beautiful morning already. It's not even 8.30 and we've had breakfast, our traditional eggs, lots of veggies, wonderful tomatoes from the garden, herbs, kale, so good. Um, I just love the morning time. I don't know if any of you else are like that, but um, just love, love, love the gorgeous, cooler fall mornings. It's a beautiful day. It's only like 55 out right now, so wonderful. Um, I'm looking up a fall granola recipe, so I'm gonna make that. I think I found one. I'll share it with you. <laughs> um, and then I gotta make her some banana cookies because she loves having those for snacks. And today there's gonna be some fall decorating in our uh, front area that I wanna share with you today. So there's gonna be quite a bit going on. We do have company coming on Saturday and Sunday. And so we actually put in carpet, my husband and I, the other night um, in our basement because the previous carpet was there for over 30 years. So I want to make that a space they can at least stay in. So um, yeah, it's going to be a great day. So I'm glad you're here, but let's get rolling with the rest of the day. banana bread instead of the banana cookies because we are gonna go for a walk up to my husband's warehouse space we do this almost daily around nine um, and it's after nine o'clock so then when we get back it's her nap time so I have my granola waiting here and my banana bread so I'll just stick them in the oven when we get back we are back from our walk it was super windy out and so um, I didn't film any footage either because it was just so windy but I put the granola in and it is done. It smells and looks so good. You guys will have to try this recipe. It has quinoa and flax in it too. I changed out the nuts from pepita. I didn't sow pumpkin seeds. I didn't have pumpkin seeds, so I just did walnuts and I put dates in instead of craisins. Um, and then I have the banana bread in the oven right now and Nevaeh is down napping. So um, I'm gonna clean up here because it's kind of a mess and then do something. Since it's so windy outside and decorating, I think I'm gonna wait till later to decorate because I have corn stalks that I want to use in my massive crock that I got thrifting um, a couple weeks ago. So we'll see what I decide to do with that. Um, so I'll start cleaning up here. So here is my crock idea, but it's gonna go at the front of our house. So I just have corn stalks from my garden over here that I cut. Um, and I want to see about cutting some more sunflowers here to use for my fall home tour because isn't this just beautiful? Look at the bees. They're so busy at work. Oh, yeah, this one fell over and so it just really produced way more than it probably would have if it was standing tall. So, yeah, there's my corn stalks. I want to check my green beans here because I planted these oh late July I think I got some actually oh yes perfect so yeah second round of green beans and hopefully a second round of beets there So I'm gonna stick my sunflowers in here. This is where I had them for my, oops, there we go. This is where I had them for my um, patio tour. I've already planted several of my mums in the ground, so it's more minimal here. I know a few of you wished I had done a full tour. So here is the full tour. It is very small. Wrap it around there. And then I had mums on the steps there. 
like these maroon ones, and then some pumpkins there, and some candles and a lantern, and I took all that down. So lunch was super simple. I made a leftover ground ro roast beef sandwich spread. It was actually ground deer beef, <laughs> ground deer roast, there we go, sandwich spread um, that we ate, and then I had a lot of salad on the side. Um, and then I got these curtains. I got these curtains from a thrift store for, oh, there are two panels for $3.50, I think, and they're the Threshold brand. And I'm changing out my daughter's curtains for a blackout. And they're such good quality, and they almost look like the drop cloth. So I'm going to change those out so they are the more darkening than what she currently has in her room. So what a score for two panel curtains. you saw I found some leaves and um, took a few these ones are slightly turning yellow and this area I'm struggling with how to know to decorate for fall so I just have that basket on that hook with the leaves in there for now let me show you my other options so that I can get your assistance here okay then here's my other option empty basket I wish I had something in there but then I have that wreath right there um and then a mustard scarf actually and i have a few hints of mustard in my more neutral decor this year so i'm not sure what to do another option i guess is to put something out here um i don't want to give away too much of my home decor but i have the wheat in there for now unless i should do my pile of leaves here and I have some ones with hints of red in them too but I don't have much red decor in my fall decor here so ah, if you want to give me assistance I would appreciate that I guess I thought of a third option so I'm kind of liking this one to be honest just pretty simple and I move my other basket out to my porch all right supper tonight is going to be a whole frozen chicken. I thawed it a little bit in some cold water, set it in some cold water. Um, fresh herbs, sage and parsley from my garden. And then I'll do some carrots and celery and then a sweet potato, onion with my garlic and some garlic in there. Um, makes it super easy when you have the instant pot because it cooks very quickly, like what, an hour total? So it's four o'clock, Navea just got up from a nap, and so this is good timing to do that. And then we'll have leftover chicken for um, the weekend, because today's Thursday for when I make a chicken pot pie for company. So it should be pretty simple meal. That's what I love, simple yet delicious. I was able to decorate as it's super calm out right now. It's a beautiful evening. It feels so much like fall. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today and that you got some fall inspiration and definitely helped me on hang, um, decorating that um, accordion style hanger, how I should do that. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Give it a like 
and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet if you are new around here i'd love to have you join so my husband and i are probably going to finish up some stuff in the basement i didn't show you much of that but really there isn't much to show you um and then i have to edit a video for tomorrow which you will have seen which is my fall kitchen decorating video and um definitely check that out if you haven't seen it so anyways i'll talk with you in the next video bye guys